Let me just start off by saying that if you're a grown ass man and you're at a public pool, let's just do humanity a favor and just keep our shirts on. Okay. Nobody wants to see your hairy ass chest or your giant man boobs that hang all the way down to your belly button. Let's not scar children for the rest of their lives. I know it's Halloween season, but there's no need to be scaring people like that. Anyways, all jokes aside in today's video, we're actually gonna be taking a look at the new Ultra Deluxe 97 Marvel Legends action figure Sentinel. And you heard that correctly. This is not a HasLab project. Just to clarify, if you guys are interested in this action figure, you can actually go in there, pre-order it now, and as of the moment, I think the description essentially laid it all out. You can actually pre-order this figure and you won't be charged for it until it ships. I think the first figure that uh, Hasbro decided to release this way, I made a mistake by saying that you would be charged immediately after the pre-order window closes, but that is not the case here. So you have uh, about like 45 days as of the moment of this recording to actually pick up the figure and then you will be charged until the figure is about to ship. It will stand at a little over 22 inches and as, as the width is roughly about 11 inches or close to 11 inches. It's a big beefy figure it is based on the 97 animated series which personally i have not really been picking up the figures per se i've picked up you know some here and there especially from the vhs line but nothing uh, too consistent but i personally did enjoy the animated series a lot i absolutely loved it there were some you know minor little key storylines that i didn't love but overall it was a very very good show now that aside, what's my personal take on this figure? I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm not one of these big content creators that were probably like maybe a handful out there that already had a pretty good idea that this was a figure that was going to be revealed at uh, at New York at the New York convention event. Personally, I had no idea. I mean, I just took their word for it. And I know a lot of these guys are going to make it seem like, ah, you know, they guessed that that was uh, the big giant reveal. But I think they had a little bit of insider information. I would almost guess that maybe whoever that they have in contact or whatever contacts they have at Hasbro probably let them in on some inside information. But regardless, here we are. Is it worth picking up? I will say, just from looking at the figure, it is a little bit more simplistic than the original HasLab. Um, you know, the sculpt and the paintwork here. And there might not be a lot of paintwork aside from the face sculpt, from what I can tell. But overall, it is a little bit bland. It's a little bit simplistic. And that's not really offending the figure. That's pretty accurate to the source material. Like, that's how it appears in the X-Men 97 uh, animated series. It does have a very kind of like round and semi-aesthetically pleasing body mold. I don't know if that's the correct terminology to use here, but that's the best description that I can use. But I'll reiterate, it is accurate to its appearance in uh, the animated series. And as I said, it does stand at about 22 inches. It does come with some extra little blast effects. It comes with a faceplate as well as a headpiece that is also removable. And that one is essentially just manufactured or both the faceplate and the headpiece are manufactured to give the appearance of uh, essentially some like battle damage the chest piece is also uh removable now i will say it is simplistic but that's what the community wanted i'm just throwing it out there i know there are a lot of people out there saying well it doesn't have all the bells and whistles it doesn't have all the great extra figures or the extra crazy accessories and even though you're 100 percent right about that i don't feel that that's necessarily a wrong thing like people were complaining about haslab projects now for quite some time they're constantly saying that there's just too much included and that continues to drive the price a little bit higher and that made perfect sense in my mind to I me mean, the, the for example the engine of vengeance had a few little things here and there that people felt like were not really necessary like maybe it had too many attachments maybe get rid of the figure maybe get rid of these other you know things that were not necessarily some things that people felt were necessary for display purposes or just for the for the sake of functionality and they felt like they could have easily just cut or i should say trim some of the fat for this particular release same thing with the sentinel the original sentinel and same thing with the galactus a lot of people felt like you know there were features that just were not really necessary especially with all of the extra little figures that they were going to add uh, bonus figures things of that nature i've also wasted a ton of time and a ton of saliva talking 
about the um, the HasLab Rancor action figure. I'm not sure how they could have cut corners there. Maybe the articulation could have been a little bit more simplistic. Get rid of the drool. Get rid of like the backboard backdrop and the bone accessories and things of that nature which i think some of those were tears even the extra figures but it, they could have maybe chopped a little bit off that's kind of what they're doing here you're you're paying for a sentinel that is based on the animated series for about 179 75 i think uh free shipping and then uh i believe you're paying about like 190 with taxes and everything close to about like 190 195 depending on where you live but essentially that's what you would get with the figure it's it's stripped it's down to the bare bones there isn't a lot to the figure the blast effect pieces the extra face plate the extra head piece uh the chest piece and and that's about it so do i think it's worth it in my personal opinion i'm not a, even a huge fan of the 97 action figure line but even i see value here okay this doesn't necessarily just have to fit in with your 97 series if you have some of the vhs figures if you have some of the comic book accurate stuff you can actually just kind of throw those in together uh the art style does fit in the animated uh series but you can still kind of throw it into uh multiple different displays and if you were not able to pick up the original haslab uh sentinel which i believe was going for about 350 this is a great alternative not to mention we just got the video game sentinels which are much much smaller i think they're about like seven and a half inches or a little bit over seven inches so those would go perfect next to your 97 sentinel again just throwing it out there if you're interested in something like this you can now pre-order it and like i said it's going to be really interesting to see the community's reaction because there are a lot of people out there that are going to complain that are going to just retract everything that they said about wanting a bare boned action figure or sentinel or you know like ultra deluxe action figure because that's essentially what this is but they're still going to nitpick at the figure they're still going to find a reason to just hate it and just send it into oblivion as as much as they possibly can i feel like that's a little bit misleading it's a little bit fake from their perspective or their point of view to do something like that because it's unnecessary let's be brutally honest here this is what the community's been asking for and hasbro starting to do this let's not forget dragon man was a figure that a lot of people thought was going to be locked behind a haslab and they could have done it they could have thrown in a few more accessories maybe an extra bonus figure maybe a mr fantastic in there with like a you know new body mold whatever and then hike up the price to maybe twice as much right like 170 180 maybe 200 dollars for this figure really premium packaging and maybe some extra head sculpts and extra hands and things of that nature and maybe they could have found a way to hike that particular figure up but they tried to strip it down as much as they possibly can make it a pre-order not lock it behind a haslab because we all know sometimes you just some people just don't feel comfortable with throwing their money at a figure that you're going to receive in like a year right i mean pre-orders don't usually work like that any other pre-order that you make unless it's like a smaller company but if it's a bigger company you pre-order something and you essentially pay when it's ready to ship or when it's at the store and you can actually go pick it up so let's be realistic i think it's slightly overpriced i mean i still feel like you know this is hasbro whenever you talk about hasbro mcfarlane or one of these really big oms these really really big companies there's there's rarely a lot of value but i will say in terms of the price point the accessibility of the figure and what you're getting it's a good solid price i mean you're talking about almost a two foot figure and i know a lot of people are going to say well 22 inches that's much smaller than the original sentinel than the galactus and i believe even shorter than the giant man and it doesn't have all the bells and whistles but again the price point is there right you're looking at about like 190 compared to you know the sentinel originally which i think was like 400 and then a lot of the other has that projects that are much much higher in price point and in case you guys are wondering this has 80 points of articulation and then according to the description about 25 points of articulation at the at the fingers or the hand so they can do you know the thumbs up they can point they can throw middle fingers up at you know your smaller brother or one of your kids your least favorite kid don't do that though but seriously the articulated fingers are crazy honestly i know there's maybe a uh, an alternate version of this that's even more simplistic like maybe no extra face plate no extra headpiece no blast effect pieces and then in maybe the because in my mind the articulated fingers are you know probably more expensive to manufacture i would say like maybe just some extra hands right like some open palm hands or maybe just no extra hands just fisted hands and then have this like even a more stripped down version for maybe like 140 but again 
you know, at this point, you're just trimming a little bit too much, right? Like people still want those extra little accessories. Like if you're going out there to buy an Iron Man, usually you get like a couple of extra hands, maybe some of, of, uh, blast effect pieces and things of that nature. So it would only make sense considering this isn't a HasLab. This is just like an ultra deluxe Marvel Legends Sentinel. It makes perfect sense, at least in my uh, in my mind's eye. All in all, as much as people will hate on this, I like it. I like the fact that Hasbro is listening to the community. They're making adjustments. They're trying to switch up the way that they do business. And this is a perfect way, right? Instead of locking stuff behind Haslight projects, instead of offering a bunch of, you know, extras and things that people may not be interested in, sometimes they'll throw in like an extra action figure that only like maybe 20 to 30% of the actual buyers are going to actually display. I mean, sometimes you'll you'll see like a, a HasLab go up and then maybe some people are selling like the extra two or three figures that the figure comes with, the HasLab project. You'll see them later on eBay. That tells me that whoever bought that HasLab just didn't really see a lot of value in those extras. And maybe Hasbro noticed that. Maybe they decided, hey, instead of doing that, let's just release the figure, the big giant uh, deluxe figure and then save the extra you know accessories or the extra action figures for a later release you know something that will appease to everybody right because we don't want to be throwing extra stuff in there that's later going to end up on ebay it just makes no sense and i'm sure that there were some of those uh buyers and some of those collectors that would purchase everything and then maybe resell some of the extra action figures they did that they really didn't want and they would help kind of balance out uh the cost of the figure but all around as i said it's 22 inches tall or a little bit over 22 inches. It's a, almost 11 inches wide. It's beefy. It's big. It's girthy. It comes with some extra little, you know, accessories here and there. Uh, 80 points of articulation, 25 points at the hand. And it is just a work of art, at least in my personal opinion. I can only imagine what we could potentially see in the foreseeable future. This gives me hope that maybe they, they decide to re-release some other versions, maybe like a, a Galactus and a more simplistic packaging or a more simplistic uh, combo, you know, with maybe less accessories, maybe a kind of a more toned down version, same thing with the Rancor, so on and so forth. Maybe they can go back and give us like either alternate versions or maybe more stripped down versions. And then that could potentially lead to some other figures later down the road or other big deluxe figures without all the bells and whistles just give us the big giant beefy figure for an affordable price at this point 175 i think that's probably the best deal that you could have gotten for this figure but as always this is just my personal opinion my personal take and you may have a different perspective it's your money it's your wallet at the end of the day everybody's going to make it their own choice but let me know your thoughts down below i want to see the communities take their personal angle maybe they look at things a little bit differently maybe they give me some really cool talking points for the future let me know down below thank you guys so much for tuning in for continuing to support the channel as always make sure to stay tuned we do upload action figure news or just content in general pretty consistently if you guys like rambling nonsense like this make sure to stay tuned there's a ton of nycc stuff that i wanted to talk about i don't know if i'm gonna have a lot of time in the next couple of weeks but i'll try to cover you know some stuff that i found interesting here and there i'm not sure if i'm going to cover everything i mean there are already plenty of channels that have done that that have dissected the entire event but i'll try to kind of cover uh some of the more interesting talking points so thank you guys so much for tuning in stay tuned as always make sure to enjoy the hobby that's the most important part of all this pose your action figures take pictures with them just enjoy them stay safe out there and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you